Hi, how you guys doing? I'm going to show you guys how to shrink down your image so you can get the whole image into your circle for your bottle caps and how to make an outline on a image with a white background. So how to make a black um, circle around your image. Okay, so um, I've already got GIMP up. Um, it's already set to 700 by 500. If you guys don't know um, how to do a step, go ahead and go back to my first video and I explain exactly how to make um, the bottle cap images. Okay, um, I've already got my file open um, down here. I'm going to shrink this one down because if you could see, if you try to grab your um, eclipse tool or your circle selector, um, Well, I actually got it all in there, but not too well. Um, but I'll show you how to shrink it down anyways. Okay, so what you're going to do is um, off in your toolbox. I don't know if you can see really good, but there's a black box and then there's a white box um, underneath it. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the, black, um, the white box underneath it. And it's going to bring up um, your color box. And what you're going to do... Um, there's a little box here. You're going to click on that. It's an eyedropper tool. And that basically takes whatever color that um, is around your image and makes your um, background that color. So click it. Even though it's black, sometimes it's a lighter or darker, oh, lighter than direct black or the regular black. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to click that and it automatically selects um, that is your color. You're going to press OK. And um, if you did that right, there should be two black um, blocks there or whatever your um, background color of your image is should be underneath the top block. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is select the rectangle selector. And you're going to outline your image. Then you're going to select your scale tool and you're going to click inside the rectangle. Okay. Um, I close these little things to keep the image proportion. So you click on that to keep it proportion and you just shrink it down. Um, right now it's at 399 width. So um, I'm going to try 300, enter. And I can see in the background where it shrunk it down pretty small. So that's small enough to get the um, circle tool around it. So I'm just going to click scale. I'm going to select the move tool and center it. Okay. Then I'm going to click off the image to get rid of the square. And as you can see, it's shrunken down. Um, and then you continue on with your regular bottle cap making directions. So you're going to get your eclipse tool now and circle it and scale it down make sure you unclick this little button here and you're going to scale it down to 120 by 120 okay and you're going to scale edit cut here select your move tool and you're going to go ahead and edit paste it on there voila perfect okay so that's how you do that pretty simple um, to do okay so let me close that down okay I'm gonna turn this back to white okay so now I'm going to show you how to make uh, to outline your images um, so what we're going to do is, this is the way I do it, especially if I'm doing a lot of the same images and I want them all outlined. Um, what I do is once um, I have my GIMP open, um, go file. Well, actually, I don't do that first. Once it's open, I go to the little squares that we went to before, the, white, the black square on top of the white square. And I click on the white square and I change it to black. Okay. Or whatever color you want your outline to be. You can change it to red, pink, blue, whatever color you want it to be. But I'm going to choose black um, today. Then I go to File, New. Um, it's already set for 7 by 500, but it can be any size for this. Um, 
and it's going to pull up a black background okay you're going to take your eclipse tool or your circle tool and you're going to make a circle any size because you're about to scale it down next so you select the scale tool click in the inside and you scale it down to your button size or your bottle cap size I'm sorry um, which is 120 by 120 for a one inch bottle cap scale and you press edit cut select your move tool and then you're going to go back to your um, original layout and you're just going to go edit paste okay. and it paste right on top of my last image but you have a plain black circle there okay and once that's done uh, make sure that you change um, once you could do this multiple times so if you're outlining them all you want to make 15 so you just want to keep on um, pasting and setting sitting them around so let's do two I'll paste it again paste we'll do two okay um so you want to make sure you turn your background that's your background color so the the little rectangles the one in the bottom that you turn to black you want to make sure you always turn that back to white when you're starting um to do another image okay i'm going to pull up another image here i'm going to re show you guys how to shrink it down again okay so that's already white so i won't change. well I'm going to go back through it again for you guys. So you click on the back, um, the white block, select the eyedropper tool, select the background of your image, and press OK. okay. Get your rectangle selector, which is already selected for me, and outline your image. Get your select, your scale tool, and scale down. This one's that. I'll make sure you click these together. This is at 218, so I'm going to scale it down to probably around 160. That looks perfect back there. Press scale, select the move tool and center it. Select outside the square, and your image is shrink shrunken down. Okay, um, this is where it gets different for your um, outline. Um, you're going to select your eclipse tool or your circle tool, outline your image. Go to your scale tool and we're going to scale it down. Okay, so unclick this from last time. Okay, so we know that our black square is, <coughs> excuse me, our black square is 120 by 120. So to get an outline of it, we need to make the inside image um, smaller than 120 by 120. So if you go to 110, it'll be a thinner outline. Um, if you go down to 90 by 90, it'll be a thicker outline. So you can kind of play around with how um, how thick and thin you're going to want the outline. Um, for this, we'll do 100 by 100 scale. Uh-oh. Then press enter. If you don't press enter, it won't scale on both. 100, enter. Scale. Okay. Select my move tool. And we're going to go edit, cut, okay, shrink this down, okay. Then we're going to just go to edit, we're going to go back to our original page, okay. And we're going to go to edit, paste, and there you go. It's, it pastes right on top, centered of that next image. And of course, to um, do the next one, you just press paste again and you move it over to there like so okay. and you had an outlined image um, instead of putting instead of making a black background you can make a zebra or a leopard background you just open up um, whatever file you have um, for your zebra or leopard print and you do the same thing so you just circle it shrink it down to 120 by 120 and you paste it um and then you grab your um, image and make it slightly smaller to 120 and place it on top um and that concludes my tutorial hopefully i didn't get too jumbled in my words for you and you were able to understand um leave any questions or comments down below and thanks for viewing